I could help you with that. You should get a job. C cool. That's <laughs> sort of why we're here, isn't it? <laughs> Barnaby, you are no, you are not one to be telling people to get a job. I don't think. Well, you know, it's not for me. A new gang on the scene. Word has spread of your daring exploits, because you paid back a fortune overnight. It's a, it's a minor miracle, and um, well, word you... has got out. You call it a fortune, but it really wouldn't make a dent compared to the uh, the, the annual take of my estate. <laughs> Just okay. wanted to clarify. Why are you here again? <laughs> Why are any of us here? Philosophical question. You're the academic. Work it out. Money. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery! Uh, can someone get that? Barnaby, I've, I've kind of got my hands full of all these documents. Could, could, could you go and get that? I don't answer my own door. I this isn't your door. Ah, oh, fine. I recline into a comfortable chair, absolutely exhausted by the day's work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Champagne fountain, you know, like, um, and a chocolate fountain, uh, <laughs> and and all the fanciest fountains. Um, cheese fountain. <laughs> oh, there's a cheese fountain. Fondue fountain. Um, <laughs> Darnell has a team of uh, cheese engineers working on the cheese fountain technology and what you're seeing is a an early prototype it does indeed appear to be sort of cycling liquid cheese through its system but occasionally it sort of sputters and molten cheese <laughs> kind of sort of spits out uh, and he sort of whoosh sort of uh, <laughs> circulates off um oh oh i'm dreadfully sorry um where where are we right now oh well uh you're aboard the dubaiana yeah but <laughs> oh, um, just trying to find the uh, bathrooms, actually. Yes, you can't expect us just to wee over the side, can you? Uh, uh <laughs> some guests have been, sir. Um, <laughs> as I say, it's been quite the party. <laughs> uh, this man looks exhausted. Are, are, you, are you okay, sir? Oh, uh... When was the last time you guys got a break? Oh, um... The last time I had a break, what's today? Oh, Tuesday. Um, Tuesday. <laughs> okay. So it must have been, well, uh, yeah, Tuesday I think. Last Tuesday. Yes, two days of set up. Then the party began. Yes. Um, do, do, do you do you know that you're you're legally allowed, to, you know, to have breaks and like you have been sleeping, right? Tell me more about this legally allowed. Y yeah. No. You 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 should legally be given breaks by your employer so that you can rest the the employees it's it, you you shift out of work basically it's out so of you, work yeah so and one then, would stop working yes yeah, someone stops working and what happens is another person comes in and takes over so you swap you shift places how do you know okay because uh, i'll confess all this stuff about employee rights is news to me as well yeah have you guys heard of weekends well, uh, I mean, th those too weak to work do tend to end. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you mean, madam. Have I've, you I've, heard I've, of these things called unions? Uh, let's montage the rest of this conversation. <laughs> um, by the end of which, safe to say, uh, this 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 waiter is 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 holding his head. You've blown his mind. He's he's both inspired and furious. Um, <laughs> Uh, because, I mean, if this party's been going on for a week and you've been having to deal with drug people for a week, I mean, I'm finding, I'm his assistant, I'm finding it hard enough just doing it for today, to be he honest. It does look like a chore, madam. A oh, it's, chore. oh my goodness. An awful trial. Yeah. Hang, you hang on. The worst enemy. <laughs> Shut up, Barnaby. <laughs> now, hold on. Okay, that uh, was yep, brilliant, so you're now alone. Lilith. Thank but you. But I'm never introducing you to my butler. Okay? <laughs> just... just... <laughs> So you're prowling into a toilet. Uh, well, prowl probably. Uh, I have no dots in prowl whatsoever. I'm, okay. I'm more, more of the sort of loud. You can sort push of... yourself, um, although I don't always recommend it on the toilet. Um, <laughs> Is that... It depends how loudly I do my business. <laughs> I really don't want it. I've made far more of this than I actually intended to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the captain of this ship. Stay back, all four of you. And do you, I... do you do you tend to uh, do you tend to sleep on the job? I just I just need to protect my investment. I wasn't sleeping, and you can't prove that I was. 
Mm. You. Okay, well, maybe we'll keep it our little secret, eh? He's sick mm. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to press the button? You want me to see what happens when the boat goes to the, to port? Yeah! I... <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> he says, and he spins the wheel around. Obviously, the ship doesn't really have much headway on it because it is stationary, but you do feel it sort of just tilt uh, a little mm. bit. And he goes... <laughs> Hey! Port, port, port. Is that right, Does anyone have any port? All right. <laughs> Ballsy move, but I'm going to stride over to him and I uh, to say. <laughs> and say, Dave, Dave. I told you I'd come <laughs> cool. and see you at the party, didn't I? I did. I said I'd come and see you. This is fabulous. Look at the work you're doing. Brilliant. Brilliant. Roll me for the. Roll me for Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Dave. Brilliant, Dave. Uh, he sort of <laughs> spins around, looks briefly confused, sort of wipes some grime from his eyes, and goes, "Mr. Fortescue." Hey, my what? favourite. What a pleasure to see you here, down and in the... you, Dave, and you, down in the muck. Well, I said I'd come and find you, and it took me a little while. This place is a real warren, isn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Mm. But uh, yeah, well, 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 welcome to my workplace. Yeah, amazing. Well. Th- sh- Introduce me to your to your pals. Oh well, uh, as you know, I'm Dave. Of course. <laughs> Dave states needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Hi. is my assistant, Lilith. Yeah, yeah. Lilith. You get, these are the boys, Dave and Clint. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. I heard, I heard such good things about you, Dave. He, oh, I he, couldn't he... stop talking about our night. Yeah. What a night! Absolute legends we were. <laughs> oh, Mr. Barnaby. <laughs> Was that a, that trick you did with the uh, that what was it called the very long glass, the very long oh, like the the yard of the it. Yard, yeah. yeah. What was that trick you did with that? Uh, I, I, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> what I did was I, you'll love this, Lilith. <laughs> I, I drank the entire thing. Yeah, listen to and this. Clint. I, you drank the entire thing. Yeah, go on. And then I threw up, and it filled it back up again. <laughs> he threw up, he filled it back up again. Okay. No, no, it's covered in uh, it's covered in valuable teeth or, or something like that. No, uh, not for the likes of us, Clint and I always say we keeps our noses clean down here and our uh, and our arms filthy with grime and so well, <laughs> sort and so. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the, if this uh, this Darnell, your your boss, I mean, oh, if yeah. he's if he's spending that much on uh, on his anchor, he must really pay you you gents well then. Pay us well? He barely pays us at all. That's. That's a real shame because you're doing wonderful work here. I mean, your shoveling was magnificent. One fluid motion, coal straight in the furnace. Yeah, um, that is more or less it. One yeah, fluid but motion. <laughs> but you're an artist, really, in your own yeah. way, I feel. Oh, oh, I got a six. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> tell me, well, you tell me how this bonking happens. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. Well, when, I mean, I don't know. No. <laughs> but I'm going to, I kind of, I like slip out slither out from my hiding spot and uh, I grab one of the shovels and I just just ever so slowly walk up and then PONK! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and hopefully yeah, and when the ship in the starts to list of it I'm like way someone's had a few <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that worked Dave and Clint really unconcerned they they think that they think that what's happened is is as a result of their inebriation and they're like Whoa, oh, I, feel, I feel like a regular land lover <laughs> <Hey."> um, <laughs> condoleers we feared this would happen. <laughs> Every able man to their station. Uh, how able are you chaps feeling? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not terribly able. Right. God, well, uh, gondoliers are our hated enemy. <laughs> uh, they actually rush out up onto deck uh, to go and um, okay. fight the gondoliers. Uh, as do actually most of the serving staff. They grab knives, cooking <laughs> saucepans. <laughs> Darnell Ironhook is in the thick of it. Uh, brandishing a, a harpoon, sort of encircled by <laughs> gondoliers who all have, um, uh, in fact, one of them Stops. like just, one of them just has like a little stick and goes like that, and it goes sort of telescopes out into a um, a lethal gondolier's pole and starts. <laughs> Darnell sees you, um, Barnaby, uh, and says, um, "Fortescue, if you want my business, you'll help me now. Grab whatever you can, help me fight these bastards." <laughs> okay. He throws. I guess he, he, th- he throws you. Uh, he throws you another harpoon. Do I catch it? Oh, it's up to you. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. 
I wave the wave the harpoon around and go. Now listen here, chaps. This this is really not on at all. Um, could you could you please just, just cease immediately? You're ruining the party. Why don't you just grab a drink and sit down and enjoy yourselves? Darnell turns to you uh, and says, "What the bloody hell are you talking about?" <laughs> and he's sort of cut off halfway through about because this, having been distracted, a gondolier thing just donk thwacks him in the back of the head and he goes, "Oh bloody hell!" And sort of slumps down, <laughs> slumps down right. to the deck unconscious. Uh, so right. Darnell, I'm okay, hooked. chaps, you win. I'll s- <laughs> shout across to to Barnaby. Um, sir, we need to go file some paperwork. You need to follow me quickly. <laughs> Thank you, assistant. Thank and you. You see the, the, the distinctive, slightly larger form uh, nearby of Flint's ship. Mm. Uh, Flint's little boat, which actually uh, has arrived. But minus Flint. Okay. No worries. Uh, yeah, you make it over to you make it over to Flint's Flint's little craft. Yeah, it's just empty. On the sort of floor of the boat you, you notice that there's a uh, a smashed bottle. Which might not be, which might not be, uh, which to, I mean, why is that, why, why is that surprising, Lilith? Why is that an alarming thing to see? Um, well, if it's a spirit trafficker, um, the, the bottles are what the spirits are carried in. So something might have escaped. Something might I, have escaped. I would like I'm to. I'm ringing out my coat like, on one of the gondolas at the moment. Just, <laughs> bloody hell, another coat ruined. Honestly. <laughs> Towards the back. You do notice um, a large blood stain and some Flint. signs of a struggle. Nail marks in the wooden <laughs> sort of seating, uh, things like that. Um, oh, no. But that is it. But um, yeah, I motioned Barnaby. It's like, it's okay, just ignore the blood stains. <laughs> Come on. Can you bring your boat to me? I'm on a gondola with no pointy stick. <laughs> Fine. Wonderful. I need a drink and another new coat. 